I have been waiting all winter to make this video. Today we're going to be exploring Prospect Park in Brooklyn, a place that doesn't get the recognition it deserves. We're going to show you exactly what to do here. So if you're tired of visiting Central Park, keep on watching. A quick history lesson. This was built in 1857 by the same architects of Central Park, Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vox. At 525 acres, it's not even in the top 10 of New York City parks in space, but what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in things to do and places to see. We're starting a tour at Grand Army Plaza, and the plaza is home to the Soldiers and Sailors Arch, statues commemorating Civil War generals. It also looks just like the Arch de Triomphe in Paris, France. Personally, I like it here as a meeting point, and it's just an amazing spot to walk and enter the park. You can see it clearly across the street. The Brooklyn Botanical Garden located behind me is technically part of the park, but because it's 52 acres and could take hours and hours to explore, we're gonna save it for its own video, but admission is $18 and the Japanese garden inside is incredible. Definitely something that you could save. You could pair this with a visit to the Brooklyn Museum, which is right next door, and is one of the best museums in New York City that doesn't get enough attention. This is Long Meadow, and this is actually the spot of the park that I come to the most, living just 15 minutes away in Park Slope. And not to be confused with Sheep's Meadow in Central Park, although sheep did graze here in the early 20th century. As you can see, just come out here with some friends, family, have a picnic, relax. At approximately one mile in length, this is one of the longest uninterrupted stretches of public park in all of the United States. Well, this is definitely the most crowded I've seen the park in a really long time, which is a positive sign for, you know, New York City reopening. This is actually the area where Adriana and I, well, mostly Adriana, made snowmen this winter during a snowstorm. It was epic. If you're not into walking or having a picnic, there's an excellent bike path that runs around the park here. As you can see, people staying to the right, you can get a city bike, bring your own bike, rent a bike, you can go jogging as well. A lot of opportunities for being active here. Tip for you guys, if you wanna have a picnic set up relatively close to the picnic house, they have a relatively clean public bathroom. And in New York City, that's as good as gold. So whenever I picnic, I'm always somewhere around here. I'm so confused. Oh, you're filming this. Yeah, we're looking for the ravine right now. I've never been here before to some of these stops in this video, so trying to find this little forest and actually proving more difficult than I thought, but have faith in Ben and I, I think. You can find waterfalls in Brooklyn, you just have to know where to look. Little known fact, the ravine is Brooklyn's only forest and the architects of this park wanted this to feel like the Adirondacks. Three, 400 feet away, you've got kids playing and people picnicking. Walking through here is a completely different experience. This is such an amazing escape from the city. And it's you know, right here in Brooklyn, in Prospect Park. And it's actually my first time walking through here. I'm ashamed to say it, I'm ashamed to say it, because I've been so close and I never actually just went a little bit further. But that's why we have this channel. It's like I'm getting deep now, I'm getting like philosophical with people. Do you want to go one step further? Hit the subscribe button. Such a, are you filming again? I keep filming. <laughs> no, this is cool actually just to kind of discover the park that's in my backyard here and I'm mentally noting things for when I come back, just for fun. Oh, that looks nice. It's like a little log bridge. This wasn't even, we weren't even planning on shooting this. We're gonna show you. The Boathouse, built in 1905. It's one of the most famous buildings in Prospect Park. It was actually modeled after a library in Venice, Italy. Inside, they have an Autobahn Center with some wildlife exhibits. But the best thing here is just to come and walk around to see this lull water here, take some nice photos. And you know, you're not gonna be fighting with tourists everywhere, like in Central Park, to get that right angle. There's so much space here. I just feel like this is one of the nicest stops in all of Prospect Park. The bridge here facing the boathouse is one of the best 
Instagram spots that so many people never even think about. And there's like nobody here. I actually thought this was closed. The Prospect Park Carousel, super famous, built over a century ago by Charles Carmel. Originally, this was in Coney Island and this kind of design for carousels spread throughout the rest of the United States. So this is just a classic thing you should do if you have kids and you're visiting Prospect Park. The Prospect Park Zoo, 12 acres, and there's over 800 different types of animals inside. I wasn't in the mood to go in. I'm not really a zoo person, but if you are, you have to pre-buy your ticket during COVID, $9.95 if you're 13 and up. And it's not a very big zoo, so you don't have to spend an entire day here. It could be a really cool option if you've got small kids. So check it out if you're interested. This may be one of the strangest trees in all of Brooklyn. It looks straight out of a fantasy novel. Camperdown Elm, planted here in 1872. It's one of the few trees in the world that originated at the Earl of Camperdown's estate in Scotland. And the branches grow horizontally instead of upwards. It's pretty unique and definitely worth stopping by to take a picture of. Concert Grove Pavilion. This just reopened after being closed for the last seven years and underwent a $2 million restoration. It was designed in 1874 by Calvert Vox, one of the architects of Prospect Park. The pavilion features motifs found in Hindu, Chinese, Moorish, and Egyptian architecture. This is one of the best hidden gems in the entire park. Prospect Park, home to more corgis and people. True story. This is Prospect Park Lake, 55 acres large, and one of the best spots in New York City to go fishing. You can also head over to the Lafrac Center where you can rent kayaks, single paddle boats. This would be an incredible place to either picnic or you wanna have a pretty creative first date, get out on the water. What are you waiting for? The Prospect Park Peristyle. Feels like ancient Greece right in Brooklyn. This Renaissance revival colonnade held up by Corinthian columns. Professor Gopin, I was paying attention at Rutgers. And this is just a great spot to hang out. People are setting up an event here. Another one of those gems right in Prospect Park. Now that's a spot to have a party right here. I'm not gonna dance, I'm not gonna like, you want me to spin right now, do some crazy stuff? I know you do, Ben. Just I was waiting for the boogie or something. Mission accomplished. There's so many great places to eat near Prospect Park. Eastwind Snack Shop we discovered when we filmed a Windsor Terrace neighborhood guide. Shout out to Michael Harron for introducing me to this spot. You know, these pork pan fried dumplings are some of the best I've ever had in New York City. So completely worth a stop when you're at the bottom of Prospect Park. Mm. Better than a lot of places I've been to in Chinatown. All right, one bite, everybody knows the rules, right? Asian dad style. Mm. Mm. There's really no other way to do it. <laughs> just gotta put it all in. Just, just gotta put it all in. This is the Prospect Park Band Show, and you can't tell by looking at it right now, but there's actually space for up to 6,000 seats here. And this is where you usually can come in the summer to catch live shows, performances, concerts. I don't know what the story is gonna be like this summer, but it's just a good place to know exists if you want some live music here in Prospect Park. Thank you. You're welcome. Still got it. Next thing you know, a dog would be drowning and you're like. Prospect Park Dog Beach. If you have a dog and you want it to swim, bring it here. If you don't have a dog and you just wanna go to a spot that has a lot of dogs having fun, also a great option. Guys, tell us in the comments, Prospect Park or Central Park, which do you prefer? Check out our other New York City guides, link down below. Thank you so much for watching as always. Till next time.